Kyle Shanahan, head coach, talking about potential uh, options for them, given the injury to Elijah Mitchell, who looks like he's going to miss about eight weeks. He has gone officially on injured reserve. Here's the thing about Kyle Shanahan is that usually when he picks, he uses multiple running backs, but when he picks one guy, he usually goes with a guy. Jeff Wilson, next in line, played more than 50% of the snaps after Elijah Mitchell went out. As Kyle referenced in the, in the sound that we heard, he's been there. He knows the team. He knows the system. He's the guy. To me, he's the number one pickup this week if you need a running back this week. Yep. I don't think Jeff Wilson Jr. is particularly great, but he is the guy, and he'll get volume in a San Francisco 49ers offense there's not much I, like I much prefer him to a Jalen Warren, e even if Najee Harris were going to miss time. Yeah, there's a coolness on the Niners in general because you know they lost to the Chicago Bears as six and a half point favorites. That's not ideal. At the same time, of all the good teams that lost, I would give them the most benefit of the doubt. One, Trey Lance, it's his first game. Really weird, bad conditions. That total fell out of the sky to 37 and a half. So we wouldn't be riding off the Niners right. yet. I still think that should be a good offense. And they hopefully get George Kittle back as well, yep. who's a really good run blocker uh, as well. Well, uh, yeah, they'll they'll have you'll see Debo and Trey Lance involved in the run game here. They're at home to Seattle eight as and well. A half the point favorites, eight yep. and a half point favorites. So we yep. expect them to be up. We expect them to be running. Jeff Wilson Jr. is my number one running back add. If and this is a huge if, James Robinson is taken in your league. Yeah. If James Robinson's out there, by the way, he's available in about forty percent of Yahoo leagues. We usually use 50% as a cutoff, so we're not talking about Robinson specifically, but he is available in 40% of Yahoo leagues. He's out there probably in a decent number and other uh, on other platforms as well. Um, if he's available, he's the number one waiver ad. Yep. He's worth a big he's worth a big amount of free agent budget. He's worth the number one waiver ad because James Robinson is going to be the leading running back for the uh, Jacksonville Jaguars as Travis Etienne. As we talked about all preseason, and then Steven D'Agostino stole him from me in our show draft, and so that's why Steven's down on the show today. Yeah. FYI, he's not out. a big deal. He's, he's out. He's done. Right. He's, he's working on buttoned <laughs> and miserable. And miserable because, you know, Sims is RIP a, a taskmaster. Kenneth right. Gainwell. Yes, sir. Next guy. Any interest in Kenneth Gainwell after what he did against the Lions? I am. Again, I think it's important to understand as you head to the waiver wire, what are you do looking for? Are you looking, look, hey, I need someone this week. I just lost Elijah Mitchell. I might not have Najee Harris, whatever. Like, if you need somebody this week, Jeff Wilson's the guy. If you're just like, you know what, I'm good. I'm just looking for a bench stash. I think Kenneth Gainwell is pretty interesting. 31% of the offensive snaps in week number one. Uh, they play the Vikings this week. It's just a lot of 73 receiving yards to A.J. Dillon and Aaron Jones in week one. Um, uh, and Gainwell's a nice player who has a role carved out for him. Miles Sanders has had trouble staying healthy throughout his career. We know that's a really good offensive line in Philadelphia. We know they want to run the ball. They're not scared to give it to him at the goal line. I mean, he scored a rushing touchdown against Detroit. Everyone scored a rushing touchdown against Detroit. But I do think Kenneth Gainwell, if I'm looking for somebody with long-term to stash, he would be the next guy. After that, how about Khalil Herbert, right? Yeah. David Montgomery, um, uh, I don't think David Montgomery's good at football. No, I, I, I don't think, think he's so fine. Either. I think he's just a guy. I know there are big David Montgomery fans out there. I'm not one of them. Here's a guy that led the team in rushing yards. Khalil Herbert led the Chicago Bears in rushing yards despite having eight less carries than David Montgomery. He's better. He's a better football player than, than David Montgomery. He had 2.2 .2 yards uh, after contact per attempt. David Montgomery is 1.4. Just quickly on Kenneth Gainwell, going back to him. Yes, sir. One thing, the Philadelphia Eagles, they are 100% going to be favored in their next eight games. Eight games in a row. And there is a chance, it is in play, that the Eagles are favored at the line in every single game this season. That's how bad their schedule is. Their two hardest games are home to Green Bay and at Dallas. It's in play. They could be favored for all 17 games this year, which means more rushing uh, attempts, better game script, more touchdowns. Okay, jumping ahead to uh, one of your favorites, Rex Burkhead. Yeah, what are you I, doing I, with him? Uh, Rex Burkhead... Hey, all right. This is the tough part of the job. I just want America to realize this is the tough part of the job, okay? And that is, um, which is, I now have to talk up Rex Burkhead, 7,000-year-old Rex Burkhead. But here are the positives, right? He led the team in carries against Indianapolis, a game in which they were leading much of it. He, he had a 49 to 19 edge in terms of total snaps over Damian Pierce, including 100% of the third down work. He got all the two-minute work. He got 71% of the offensive snaps against the Colts, 19 total touches, 70 scrimmage yards. The Texans are going to be a, a competent offense. They're not going to be a disaster of an offense. Okay. I don't think they're going to be great, mm. but I, I do I, 
The Colts are a decent defense. They moved the ball against, like, Pep Pep. Like, Davis Mills is better than expected. Davis yeah. Mills is better than expected. We like Brandon Cooks there. They do have a weapon in, in um, uh, you, you know, in Pierce. O.J. Howard, the ghost of O.J. Howard, scored two <laughs> he's, touchdowns he's here. I, I, I don't know about that. But I, the fact is, is that for the foreseeable, look, I think there is very low upside on Rex Burkhead. But in ter- he is a starting running back on an NFL team, which means he has value in fantasy. Again, do I like Wilson, Gainwell, and Herbert more than him? I do. Um, but I think that we're lowering expectations on Damian Pierce, Pierce, and I do think Rex Burkhead have some value, you know, veteran presence. He's really good in pass pro, and that matters when you have a young quarterback. I just worry that that might have been the best Rex Burkhead game in terms of favorable script, and he had 70 scrimmage yards, no touchdowns. There's a huge potential as well that he loses the job as the season He's goes fourth on, on the list. Yeah, yeah. He's exactly. fourth on the list, <laughs> yeah. Jay. Yeah. He's okay. fourth. Yeah. He's fourth. All right, Jamal uh, Williams, who yeah, uh, vultured a couple touchdowns from our man DeAndre Swift. Played 33% of the snaps, so I don't know that you love that except in a slightly deeper league, but I do think he has value because DeAndre Swift has dealt with uh, has dealt with injuries in his career. And listen, that's a really good offensive line. They're obviously comfortable giving it to him on the goal line. Jamal Williams is a good running back. He's not as good as DeAndre Swift, but mo- most running backs in the NFL aren't. That's not a knock on Jamal Williams. So I do think he's really interesting as sort of a stash, more of a later uh, later season stash. He's probably already taken in uh, deeper leagues as well, but I do think he's interesting. We touched on Jalen Warren as well. If you need a guy, but I'm I'm avoiding the Steelers running back situation that isn't named Najee Harris. Interesting music choice from the producers over that graphic, going with the uh, Berlin nightclub music I, over I, uh, Jamal Williams and DeAndre here. Swift. By the way, so many so many people say, um, "Hey, pick up these guys, pick up these guys," but hey, who am I dropping? I'll give you two guys that are rostered in over 50% of Yahoo leagues that I'm okay with you dropping. I'm not advocating that you must drop these guys, but if they're on your roster, if you're looking for an open spot, you don't have a, you know, Elijah, you can't throw somebody on the IR to create a roster spot. Uh, I think James Cook, who, you know, had just two snaps against the Rams, you know, he lost a fumble in his first snap. It's going to take a while for you to get the trust of Josh Allen and uh, Sean McDermott. So I think it's a little while. Love him still in Dynasty. I think it's going to be a little bit of, a, little bit of a, t- a while for James Cook to see meaningful snaps with the Bills. And Raheem Mostert, who I love, but had just five carries compared to Chase Edmonds' 12. We know Edmonds more involved in the passing game. And that's a game in which the Dolphins, you know, pretty handily controlled. Yeah, I would just be worried. I think that's a passing offense now under yeah. Mike McDaniel. 33 pass attempts for Tua to 23 rushing attempts for the team. I think it's just a more progressive offense, and I'm not sure that it's going to be able to uh, support two running backs. It's the Chase Edmonds show, as you like to say, follow the money. They yeah. paid the man, and they ran he it. Had one tar- he ran 14 routes. He had one target. I do like Mostert as a talent, um, but... Again, and so I would prefer to dr- drop Cook over Mostert, and hopefully yep. you don't have to drop anyone. You, you can just throw somebody in an IR spot, but um, if you need to, there's some guys. Hey, it's Matthew Berry from NBC Sports and Rotoworld.com. Just want to thank you so much for watching what you just watched, or at least being too lazy to click out of it after the you know, autoplay just kept it going. So either way, thank you so much for just letting it scroll by your screen. And now I'd like to ask you respectfully, 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 okay, respectfully, Please subscribe to the NFL on NBC YouTube channel for the latest NFL news, fantasy headlines from Rotor World, and betting analysis from NBC Sports Edge.